What's up, everybody? This is David Rock again with uh, day two of the video blog, and um, we uh, we went to the dog park today, and uh, you can see Beatrice sitting right here, lying right there, actually, exhausted. You know, it's uh, it is a freaking great dog park that we went to. We went to uh, this one, uh, we're staying in North Hollywood, like I said, we're staying in North Hollywood, California right now, and uh, the, uh, it, it's uh, one of the best dog parks I've ever been to. Trees, grass, huge, huge, multiple acres, um, just like a, a regular park, like a people park. Just that that's that's just got fences and and you can walk around and it you know see other dogs that are off leash and it's just beautiful. Tons of tennis balls for them to play with and other dogs and we stayed for two hours. It was hot, but there was shade and there were other people and it's just a pleasure, just a pleasure. And uh, I mean, I've been to we've been to a lot of dog parks in L.A. and this one is the best, definitely so far. There's another good one that we we love to go to, on uh, on Lincoln in Venice Beach, uh, called uh, Jocelyn Park, and that is a great dog park because it's very the people, the people are really friendly. It's clean. It's um, it's not as beautiful like nature wise, but certainly big enough. Tons of tennis balls and to people you know are super friendly it's just a venice beach vibe so you know it's, it's gonna have that you know earthy earthy vibe which is <clears throat> perfect it's, it's totally cool been to some ones like in the in the city city inside the city where they where they've kind of like reclaimed uh like land you know to 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 make a dog park and those those are difficult to, to work i think because it's uh you know, you know it's it's uh real estate is king and you know they for some reason, the people are just, they're not super happy about, you know, taking their dogs for walks there. For some reason, they don't, it's just not a fun vibe. And you just, you, you sometimes get into trouble, you know, very quickly there. Like, with other owners and dogs, with other dogs. And it's just, it's just, it can be a headache. There's some, there's one in, uh, on, in Brentwood. That's a, that's a, that's not fun. Uh, there's one in, um, in Culver City. you think actually Brentwood and Culver City would be good because they're very, uh, relax, kind of like pseudo, like well, expensive, expensive areas. You think, and they think that they would like love their dogs there, and I'm sure they do. And but I've been there a few times, and we have, I've never had good experiences there, which is weird. I'm sure people do, but I haven't. And um, you know, it, it's just like going to like a shady restaurant. You know, like it's just a vibe. You know, just the owners and the people, and it's just you know, it's a. Uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. I'll go there. I'll go back there. But I mean, if you have choices, and everyone has choices, you just make your choices, and that's it. At this dog park, we're gonna go back tomorrow. Beautiful park. We came back, did a lot of work. Um, dogs are tired as hell, and it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So um, I wanted to play a song today that I have been playing, not that long, maybe a month, maybe a month at most. Um, and uh, you know, when I say playing, I mean I play probably. Four, four times a week, which is not that much, um, but it does add up. And you do once you learn the song, you can memorize it. Then, um, and you keep, you know, then it, it, you 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 can play it. And, you know, and uh, you feel good about it. You know, like there's some songs that I'm learning right now that I I could, wouldn't play right now unless that was the intention to be to say, okay, well we're gonna play something that's half done and here's where it's at and that, I mean that might be cool but um, you know I, I, I want to play this song it's written by a guy named Towns Van Zandt uh, Towns Van Zandt is just a legendary songwriter country country guy passed away like I want to say early 90s of like I think alcohol poisoning or alcohol is he, just, he was an alcoholic for sure the guy there are stories about Towns Van Zandt about he'll he'll come into town He'll play a couple shows. He'll make money. He'll spend it. He'll couple, he'll hang out a couple days afterwards. Spend it on drinks and just womanizing and uh, 
and uh, gambling, huge gambler, and lost all of his money. You know, basically was broke. Just leave, come in, make money, leave without money, and then have to go play a couple more shows. It just so happened that you know he 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 was great at at um at what he did, and um, but I don't think he had a super happy life. You know, I was you know, it's uh it was sort of sad in a lot of ways, but some of his music was pretty pretty brilliant and uh, one song that I love 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 is the one I'm gonna play right now called Loretta and I don't know why who we wrote this for or whatnot um, but you can tell in the song a couple of the features of Towns Van Zandt which is you know he's not gonna stay long he's gonna he's, he's in he's gone um, he uh, there's a little bit of alcohol illusions in there um, and uh, he, you know, it's just, what else? Uh, yeah, I mean, and with the girls, you know, I mean, I, I think he had like two or three wives and maybe a couple kids that, he, you know, he never spoke to. Just, you know, just that life, you know? And um, I have to admit, when you're younger, it's like, it's just, a, it's not appealing, but it's, it's super interesting because like, damn it, this is just different, you know? And he was certainly a rolling stone. So um, I'm going to play this. I hope you enjoy it super simple song which is which is fun too because i thought it might be confu confusing because he's so so kind of a brilliant guy a brilliant songwriter at least and um he uh and it's just super simple i saw a video on youtube it's two chords he play it's him playing it live two chords g and c and um and i'm like that's it and that's it you know and the, the album will have like other instruments that will pass it along but it's two chords and super simple, super fun, and um, you know, I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, Loretta, she's my ballroom girl, wears them sevens on her sleeve, dances like the diamond shines, tells me lies I love to believe. Rage is always 22, laughing on as a hazel hue. Spends my money like waterfalls, loves me like I want her to. On the radio, what won't you say to me? Darling, put your guitar on. Have another shot of booze, play a blue and wailing song. My guitar sings the melody, my guitar says the red is fine. Long and lazy, blown me free, and I can have her any time. At the break of dawn, priest in the setting sun. She don't cry when I can't stay, at least not till she's all alone. The red I won't be gone long. Keep your dancing slippers on. Keep me on your mind a while. I'm coming home, 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 I'm coming home. She's my ballroom girl, wears some sevens on her sleeve, dances like the diamond shines, tells me lies I love to be. Rage is always 22, the laughing eyes and hates on you, spends my money like waterfalls, loves me like I wanna to, loves me like I wanna to, loves me like I wanna to. And there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Towns Van Zant, Loretta.